Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. COVID-19 restrictions in place for this weekend's 12th Annual Pond Hockey Classic in Meredith. The 12th Annual Pond Hockey Classic is a go this weekend at Lake Winnipesaukee, but it's modified this year due to COVID-19. There's a lot of variables with the global pandemic, but kind of figure if the ski areas are able to operate and they've been doing a great job, we're able to host a three-day outdoor pond hockey tournament, said Scott Chowder, commissioner of the Pond Hockey Classic. Fourteen rinks have been set up and 132 teams are participating. That's about half of the unusual numbers. And for the first time, the event is fenced off with no spectators allowed. Also missing this year, the beer garden, team locker rooms, and live music. So a lot of things that were going to get crowds to congregate, we pulled out, Chowder said. It's really just teams of eight playing some outdoor hockey against another team of eight. They play four on four out there. So, hope people enjoy it. And players say they have enjoyed it. Our loftily goal is to really just have a blast, said Stephen, a player from Bedford. There's nothing better than skating on ice when no one's been out there. You're the first person to put a cut in that ice. It's just the best. The organizers also had to contend with the weather. They weren't sure if the ice would be frozen enough in time, but the environment cooperated. We started to feel it Wednesday and say, this is real. The rinks are up. They are out there doing the rinks. And said, we can't wait to go. It was just a great way to kick off the 2021, said Jamie Shepard, a player from Maltonboro. The Pond Hockey Classic goes all day Saturday and half day on Sunday. And that does it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye everyone.